hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time coming across my video please consider subscribing for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always supporting my channel i really appreciate you in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how to make plantain fufu with unripe plantain okay which is the best uh, method for making fufu or plantain fufu and is the healthiest uh, method that you will ever ever make i'm going to begin by peeling off my plantain it's a little bit hard to peel on ripe plantain okay so as you can see my fingers are all messed up but yeah peel them off properly and once you're done just cut off all those uh, areas that are dark or bad but if they're not then it's fine i'm then going to go ahead to just uh split this into two and i'm going to take out the seed inside there i'll just take it out that strand that's inside i'm going to take it out why you're taking that out is because you don't want it you don't want the food to be dark when you finish cooking so the best way to have to maintain the uh, bright color is to cut that off then once i'm done uh, taking them out i'm going to go ahead and just chop them roughly into an easy uh, blending size so that it will be easier for my blender to blend and now i'm done i'll just transfer it into this bowl and i'm going to go ahead to wash this properly once i'm done into my blender i'm just going to add in the washed plantain that i washed i'll add in enough water for it to blend but i'll add it bit by bit so i'll just cover the blender and i'm going to pulse it and yeah that is it at the beginning it's going to be a little bit hard okay and it's going to look like it's a, a bit hard but just add a little bit more water don't add too much water so that it will not be too loose and it will blend very fine and now it is all ready i'll transfer it into my pot and begin to stir on that you don't want to take your hands off this just keep stirring on it and stirring and stirring and stirring until it forms a dough and why you are going to be stirring this is for is to avoid it being lumpy when you stir it constantly it's going to come out very smooth and you will see this at the end when the result comes out can you see how well this is formed now but this is not ready yet as you can see the color is still looking the same so this is not ready yet you want to stir very very well because this is the point where it always get lumpy if you make any mistake at this point now so you want to stir very very well and you want to heat it against the uh, pot like closer to the pot <laughs> so that it will uh, help it to break down the lumps that are there i'll just go ahead cover it and add in a bit of water and cover that for about five uh, minutes for it to cook again and once it was done i'll start beating it again i mean it's very easy and as you can see the color is changed and our food is forming very very well i'll mix this for about three minutes again and it is all ready now and it is time for us to serve and what i always do is to take my clean film spread it out in a bowl that i want the food to the shape that i want the food to be and then i'm just going to cut out the clean film and i will bring the food and then i'll just put it inside the clean film it's going to be this sticky but don't worry that's how it is because it's not <laughs> there's no oil on the so so that is it and i will just go ahead and form my foot in a cycle shape that is what i'm going to be doing and that is how easy it is to make plantain swallow very easy and it's also a very healthy food you know just look at that the food looks bright and the color is still bright that is because we took out that seed inside if not it would have been darker than this but can you see how bright this is looking our swallow is all ready just look at that smooth and soft 
I let it cool down a little bit before I had it because it was a bit soft so I didn't want to be battling with it in my finger so yeah and I served it with this delicious um, okra soup which the recipe is either up or is going to be up soon just look at how delicious this is looking and guys I don't know the soup you want to serve yours with but I mean it was the best combination ever having it with this uh, okra thank you so much for watching and we've come to the end of our uh, today's recipe i hope you enjoyed watching if you did please remember to like share comment give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video but until then always remember that jesus loves you so so much bye